I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to practice making quick decisions. That way you'll be comfortable in a tournament or maybe even playing online where you have to make timely decisions. In a tournament, for example, you have to play a 12 minute game and online, you have to make decisions in about eight seconds or the game will discard for you. We don't want that to happen. So we practice. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to be the dealer, then non-dealer, and dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston for each one with no jokers. We have a joker, flower, north, green, one, two, three in cracks with a pair of ones, two, eight, nine in bams, three, seven in dots with a pair of threes. Pair one, pair three. I probably would focus on consecutive run, one, two, three. If we get fives, we might be able to do little odds. So let's pass these three. Two, we have tiles to pass. Oh, there's a new multiple. Anytime a new multiple develops, reassess, but we have lots of little numbers, so we gotta break it up. Two, now here's a five. One, three, five is a potential category for us. Here we have two, three, five, two. Let's let that two go. We just need to free up one discard, so we really don't need to look at the card yet. Here's another two, that's a new multiple. One, two, or two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, two, three, three, two, two. Maybe we could play one, two, three with twos in the middle. Maybe we could get that two bam back. Let's pass those three. No keepers. No keepers. Threes. Seven. Three. Twos. Three. I think what I would do here is pass two. Hoping to get that two bam back. Uh oh. We got it. We got it. We got it. Lap. One, two, three with twos in the middle. Four discards and a hand, pairs in hand. We need to Kong and Kong. I would say we're a front runner here if we were to play this through. That was a great Charleston. Even giving up a tile, came back. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint one in the comment section below and what you would have done. West, three, four, five, six, seven singles, four dot pair, 
three, eight, nine. I'd build around the four. Maybe we can use the west if we get eaves. Here's three, four, five, six, three, past seven, eight, nine. This is a little bit risky, but we need to optimize. Here's a four and a three. Three, four, three, four. Wrong dragon. Let's break up these wins. Four, four. Maybe we could play like numbers with fours. Uh, let's see, four, four, three, four, three, four, five. Let's let the six go. Three, five, three, four, five, three, four, five, concealed. Three, four, five, concealed. Well, maybe. Here's a five. South one, no, let's pass. The fours are singles with that hand. Pass. Red. I'm thinking like numbers with fours. So let's let a three dot go. Two crack, two four, four eights, no six. So let's let a five go, optional. Lap, okay, fours. I probably would focus on like numbers with fours, but I would gather this is looking a bit bleak, so I would reassess, play three, four, five, maybe with the dragons. Three, four, five. I would say three discards and gather. Maybe try to play like numbers with fours and dragons. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint two in the comment section below with what you would have done. Red dragon pair, green dragon, east, west, one, five, six, eight, nine in bams, two, seven in cracks, two, three in dots. I would build around the dragons. Maybe news concealed, and then I'd pick a predominant pattern, probably one, two, three. We have like numbers with twos here. So let's pass those three, maybe with a six. Three. South, we have tiles we can pass. Let's keep going. White, I would keep that. One, one, two, three. Let's see, one, let's let the one bam go. We have ooze. Okay, one, two, three, dragon. Hmm, I think I would let a wind go here. Let's let a east go. West, no, we're just gonna keep going. Eights with a one. Let's let a south go. Two, east. S let's see, we'll let these three go. Two, three, four. Okay. West can go for optional. We've got those dragons, like numbers with twos. I think I would focus there, like numbers with twos and dragons. Lap. Okay, West, one, eight. I would play like numbers with twos and dragons. Two. 
Joker bait, discards. Like numbers with twos and dragons. I suppose we could just keep the threes because if threes come in, we could play like numbers with threes. The other thing we could maybe do is play two, three, two, three, dragon. But the ideal multiple would be with this red dragon, which means we would need the bams instead of cracks. So that's why I was thinking like numbers with twos or threes. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint three and what you would have done in the comment section below. Let's see how things went with time. If you train yourself to play at the category level and build around strength, you really don't even have to take time to look at the card. You just gather tiles that support the strength of your hand. The strength of your hand is either going to be around multiples with supporting tiles or the predominant pattern. When you run out of discards, that's when you take the time to look at the hands, decide what to focus on, and free up discards. Give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you play a faster game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.